Continuing with the Turbulent Airfoil Flow project, we're now going to create a mesh. Double click Mesh to open Mechanical. Check that your units are in meters. Change the view to normal to Z. Highlight Mesh and Generate. Note that we got a pretty coarse mesh. If we zoom in into the airfoil, you're going to see that we have just a few elements around it, which is not good. We want to refine it a lot around it and also add an inflation layer here so we can capture boundary layer effects and more precisely predict the drag. So we're going to click under Mesh Control and Sizing. Select the body selection filter, and select the whole body, click apply. Our type is going to be sphere of influence, so select sphere of influence here. The sphere center will be defined by the global coordinate system, which is placed at the leading edge. The sphere radius will be 3 meters. The element size will be 5 e negative 2. We also want to control the number of elements around the airport. So for that, click on Mesh Control, Sizing and select the Add Selection filter this time. Zoom in and select the upper edge of the airplane. Click Apply. Change the element size to 3 millimeters. Set the behavior to Hard. So, so Ansys will use this dimension exactly and won't try to change it to better fit the mesh, but we want to add a bias. We want our mesh to be finer at the trailing edge and at the leading edge. So we're going to add a bias of this kind. So we get finer elements closer to the edges, to the trailing edge and the leading edge. Change the bias factor to 10. Now, if you zoom in, you're going to notice the preview of the mesh. We have a much finer mesh near the leading edge than we have in the middle of the airfoil. And the same to the trading edge. You can see it's finer here than here. We want to do the same thing for the lower edge of the airfoil. So duplicate this entity by right-clicking it and click Duplicate. Highlight, uh, highlight geometry to change the geometry selection and with the edge selection filter select the lower edge of the airfoil. Then click apply. The last mesh control that we're going to create is the inflation layer. For that click on mesh control and select inflation. For the geometry, change the selection filter to face and select the domain face. Click apply. Our boundary will be the both edges of the airfoil. Change the edge selection filter, hold down the control key and select both upper and lower edges of the airfoil. Click apply. Our inflation option, we're going to change to total thickness. You want 10 layers. I'm going to keep the growth rate, rate as 1.2. And the maximum thickness will be 6 millimeters. 6 negative 3. Now, highlight, 
highlight mesh and click generate mesh. Note that now our mesh is much more fine, closer to the airfoil as we want it to be. But we still want to tweak a little bit more our mesh. In order to do that, highlight mesh and expand this menu here, details of mesh. Let's change sizing now. Let's change the use advanced sizing to on proximity and curvature. Change the relevant center to fine. And change the smoothing to high. Let's also change the minimum size to 9 e negative 5 meters. max face size 0.5 meters then the max size to 0.5 meters leave the rest as default now go ahead and generate the mesh now that the mesh is ready let's check the number of nodes and elements under details of mesh expand statistics you're going to see that we have around 27,000 nodes and 27,000 elements. We can also review the quality, for instance, orthogonal quality. Expand this. Note that the majority of our mesh is made by quadrilateral elements, which is good. Also, here we notice that we have the majority of our elements with a close to one orthogonal quality, which is what is also very good. If you highlight the bar here, the display will show the elements containing that particular quality. So we see that the vast majority of our mesh is good. Save our project.